guys, Jagex came out with a new update today, and that is the update to the Lone Stone service. I personally in the past thought that if they were going to have so many Lone Stones in such popular places, maybe they need to put them in less popular places or places that require more time and effort to actually get to. So the updates to the Lone Stone service includes Canifis, Eagle's Peak, Hermetic Province, Karamja, Uglog, didn't ask me to pronounce it, but the Elflands, and the Wilderness Volcano. I'm going to be covering all of these except the Wilderness Volcano because personally I do not have a use for that whatsoever. Maybe if I still do clue scrolls, but I do not. So the first one we're at here is the Eagle's Peak Lodestone. It is just west of the Tree Gnome Stronghold, and if you run west and follow the gate and then the river, you will find it here. It's near Kathy Horcat. Um, this is, I guess, convenient if you don't have an easy teleport method or you haven't done the Lunar Diplomacy quest, but it's a quick method to get to actual Eagle's Peak, maybe for the quest, or to get to Piscatorus. And as I said, maybe if you don't have Lunar Diplomacy done or the Grand Tree, it might be easy access to actually get the Tree Gnome Stronghold. So here we are at the Canifus Load Zone, as you can probably tell just by the scenery. It places you right next to the God Statue, which is convenient. And if you are a lower level and you need a Slayer task, it puts you right at the Slayer Master right here. So it's really convenient because you also don't have to, you know, have a portal in your house and run to that to get to the bar, but you can actually just teleport right here now and you won't have to worry about teleporting either to the bar or to the Slayer Tower or to the Ecto File if you would like to get somewhere in the middle such as this really quickly. So unless you are familiar with how the landscapes look in most of the regions, you can probably maybe tell that this is Relica, but we're to the far east. So they're actually not defeating the purpose of having a Lear or just having the house teleport to Relica if you've completed a love story. It's kind of how it is with Varrock, how it teleports you to the southern end instead of possibly the Grand Exchange. So that's good in a way that they're not destroying teleports, but however, maybe if you're lower leveled, and I remember I would have to run from Camelot every single time if I wanted to come to Relica. So it's a little bit closer, but still kind of far away for those that would like to run a little bit. Here we are at the Karamja teleport, and as you can see, it's a little tiny bit south of the house teleport, which is right up here. So again, it's kind of killing this teleport, actually, because if you complete a love story, then you can easily teleport here, or if your house is simply in Karamja or Brimhaven, whichever you prefer to call it. So it's kind of unfortunate that that teleport will likely not be getting really used anymore, but it's also nice for those that didn't have that teleport option before, and the glory would take you way northeast from here, so you would have to run all the way. And the closest alternative would be Shiloh Village to the far south, or the Grok teleport which is still to the far south. So this is kind of somewhere meeting in the middle of those two places. Okay, this is easily my favorite load zone so far, and if you recognize the scenery at all, it is just north of Uglog. So if you mine red sandstone, you're gonna be pretty happy about this because personally, this was the sandstone that I didn't care too much for mining because with the sandstone in the desert, you could just use this Pharaoh Skepter and you would get relatively close and you wouldn't have to run that much. With Uglog, however, you would have to run either from mobilizing armies or taking a boat to the shipping docks to the far east, but then you would still have to run all the way up here. So if you mine red sandstone, then you're probably gonna like this teleport maybe as much as I do. This is one of the ones that I think was definitely needed because, as I said, there weren't really too many teleports that took you right here, so... It's a nice little bonus for those of us that would like to do flasks, or if you are doing a quest per se, then it might help you out a little bit too so you're not running around as much. This is another spot that I'm really excited about because if you've ever forgotten your elf crystal, you might have had to run through the underground pass or just come from the trek, which is way far north of here, and it's kind of annoying to get down here. 
and can take several minutes at the very minimum. And so the slow zone is actually just west of the village. If we run over here, we actually can spot the adamant ore mine, which is convenient if you have a daily challenge, which is kind of hard to complete in the mining guild alone. And there's just a couple of traps over here, but you'll start recognizing it as we get closer. Here's the tripwire. And then the gates to the village are right here. Alright, so except for the wilderness volcano, I've covered all of the areas. However, if you look on here, we can actually distinguish pretty well which icons are the new ones. They look vastly different. So basically, we have Canifist over here. We have Karamja down here. We have Booglog over here. We have the Elflands over here. Eagle's Peak is over here. Thematic Province is over here, and the Wilderness Volcano is up here. So as you can tell, we kind of stretched out a little bit with our lodestones. Not so much the desert, but definitely down in the islands over here, and Uglog, as well as the Elflands, which are kind of untouched, and Eagle's Peak. So it definitely stretched out farther west and farther north with Thematic Province and the Wilderness Volcano, and farther east with Canifus. So I hope you enjoyed guys, um, personally I'm not really for lodestones in a lot of the circumstances areas such as Lumbridge or Thalador or maybe even Draenor Village because frankly I don't think they're really needed, just mainly in areas that are kind of a pain in the butt to get to sometimes. Canifus if you're lower level can be really difficult to get to if you don't have a construction level or the slayer level or the quest requirement for the ectophile. And Uglog can be quite a run. And then Karamja is nice because, as I said, it was kind of isolated down there and if you don't have the house teleport tabs or maybe a glory or Karamja gloves, it can be kind of difficult for you. And of course, if you haven't killed any elves to get the crystals, it might be harder to get the elf lands. And Eagle's Peak is also just kind of out there. And then for Manic Province, as I said, while it is a lot quicker than going to Sears Village and running north, it is still kind of out there, which I appreciate them doing. And the Wilderness Volcano, I, I'm kind of against this because the Wilderness is an area where there really aren't many teleports to, and I think people kind of liked it that way. Of course, you have the teleport obelisks that change where you teleport. I kind of liked how it was kind of desolate and not an area that was easily accessible, so this might change PKing if people even still PK in the evolution of combat, but I think it's something that kind of maybe should have been left alone. So there's been a lot of updates, mainly to teleports today. Um, it's gonna take some getting used to. As always guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.